guys. So I am at home today. So I got half dressed for you. I um, changed my top and my cat Lucy is going to come say hi. Where is she? I hear her. Oh, she's hiding under those pillows. Anyway, I am going to show you because I'm talking about plying yarn in this uh, podcast. I thought I would show you what I'm about to work on because it's out of the norm for me. And it also just kind of is like a, if you're making yarn yourself, on a wheel or on a drop spindle, the sky's kind of the limit, so you can do whatever. And so I'm gonna flip you around and show you what I'm about to ply up. Okay, so my wheel is set up, and so here's what I am getting ready to ply. So this is, so I didn't hand spin this. This is, I bought a lot of it, and you can see, there's like, I don't even know, this is Blue Moon Fiber Arts. She hand dyed it, and it is a lot. It's like 1,500 yards of 90% silk, 10% nylon. So what I did was I just pulled a bunch of it off and made it into this so I could ply with it. Keeping in mind, I've never done this before. And then here's what I spun up. So this is um, Lanny's, Lanny's, Lonnie's, Lonnie's, Lana. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is her Rambouillet roving that I, or uh, top that I spun up. So my plan is to ply these two together and I have no idea why I came up with this plan but I'm gonna try it and let you guys see and I generally don't do this um I actually don't think I've ever spun plied with anything that I haven't spun myself and the reason I'm choosing to do it with this besides I think it'll look pretty is it's a single so you can see it's just one ply and we've talked about plies so um and it's pretty strong and I don't think that um, plying is going to take away too much of the strength from it. So if this was like, and you could do this with any single yarn, really just play with it. But if you have a yarn that is already plied, you're going to start undoing the plies that are already there because you're spinning against what is already there. So anyway, I thought I would just show you that. And then I'm going to get set up and show you as I start to spin it. Okay, everyone. So I am here. And I'm hoping I can spin with everything where it is. We'll see. So when I am getting ready to ply my normal ply, I just do a little knot. And this My lead is getting a little bit. When, um, my lead's getting a little bit short. But And then I just clip off the ends to keep it out of my way. And then because I don't want my cats to get into it, I try to pick it up right away. So here we go, and I'm gonna apply this fairly, um, fairly. T I'm not gonna say tight, but I'm gonna apply it normal to what I would normally apply because I just want it to act like it's a yarn that I had spun. So I did a little sample, and it's a little far away, so it's probably not gonna spin up as easy. But if I had the um, Lazy Cake closer to me, then the yarn's just coming off like this off of, sorry, off of the uh, cake. And so it was really working out well. So bear with me here. But, um, so I'm just doing a really good ply on this because I don't want it to look, I just want it to look like I had already, and I'll do it short so you don't lose my, and my plying is nothing. I do tend to count when I'm flying, and I don't count at all when I spin, which, uh, you know. All right, so we'll take a quick peek, and I'll see, and you see how this is just kind of draping really nicely when I pull it back? To me, that's how I like, it means it's pretty balanced. There's a couple kinks, like if I go all the way in, but that's gonna balance out when I um, wash it. So I'll pull this up so you can see how it looks. And that was not a good spot to pull it up because it's really light. So let me do a little bit more. Okay. So let's pull back. And I like to pull it out because there is, you know, even if you start feeding it in, you're getting a little bit more twist in it in that last little bit as you're feeding in. So I like to pull it back a little bit. And I'm going to let go. And it's got a little twist to it, but... I'm fine with that. It doesn't have to be, yarn doesn't have to be perfectly balanced. It can have a little life. And so let's see how that looks. And this is where I want to be. So I put a pretty good um, 
ply into it because I don't want, one thing that drives me crazy when I'm knitting is if my needles go through a yarn, through the plies. So that is kind of how I like it to be. And it is easy to under ply yarn, I will say that, but um, I see a lot here. Let me give you an example of what I mean by under plied. So under plied kind of looks like this where there's just not, see how how big the spaces are kind of, that's the easiest visual way for me to look at it. I know there's degrees that you can look at also like 45 versus 90, but me, to me visually, these are just big, long kind of gaps. Like they're just not tightly plied. Whereas, let me put just a little bit more into it. You can see how different, ooh, let's get it how different that is and how those spaces between, and they actually look bigger on the camera, but how those spaces in your colors are a lot smaller. So I don't know, it's just something to watch for. Maybe you like your yarn plied lightly, I do not. But as you can see, I'm getting a little bit caught up here. But if I had my Lazy Kate down close to me, plying is super easy. And it always takes way longer than I think it's going to. And I'm not paying attention to my count very well here. But, um, so this, like I said, is the first time I'm using something. And it's just a single. And it's doing, I love how this yarn is turning out. And you can kind of see, I'll bring it up again. Into focus. If I can. I can't focus. There it is. So, and you know. There's this this um, yarn that I'm plying it with has kind of chunky parts and, and, and thinner parts, and that's totally okay, too. So I just thought I would show you how this yarn was spinning up. To me, it's great, and the yarn, you know, this single is very thin, this silk, but it's strong because silk is a strong fiber. So even though it's not, it's a pretty dainty yarn, it actually is holding up really well as I ply it. So just another idea and I'll take you off here and let you see how it looks on the bobbin so you can kind of get a better idea. I'm going to pause you first so I don't make you sick. All right so now you can see how fun this is and because that yarn that silk yarn is just quick repeats it's just got little pops it's just running back and forth through the light and the dark and the blue and the purple color so I think it's going to be such a pretty yarn I'm really excited to finish it so I will definitely show you guys when it's done.